up a big topic from the week, a whirlwind of emotions in New Orleans and the state of Louisiana after monumental landmarks of the city are no longer on display. Four Confederate era statues, General Robert E. Lee, Confederate Jefferson Davis, the Liberty Place Monument, and Confederate General PGT Beauregard have all been taken down. The decision to part with the monuments came after the deadly Charleston church shooting that was racially motivated. The New Orleans City Council declared the monuments a public nuisance. Supporters of the decision say the statues were symbolic of slavery. However, opponents say they are part of the history of the city of New Orleans. It's been an ongoing battle in New Orleans with heated protests both for and against. So we're asking our panel today, is it time to move past the Civil War and the racial divisiveness it stands for, or is this erasing history? We want to hear from you on our Fox 26 Facebook page and on Twitter. Just tweet me at Sally Mack, Fox 26. Joining us now is our panel, led by our senior legal analyst, Chris Tritico, Democratic media consultant, Mustafa Tamiz, and Republican strategist and public policy analyst, Jackie Bally. Good morning. Good morning. These protests have mostly been peaceful, but they did break out every single time one of these statues was removed this week. What's your take on it? You know, I, I was born here in Houston. I'm very proud of growing up here in the South. And, but what I'm proud of is the traditions that I learned of growing up in the South, opening the door for a lady when she uh, approaches the door with me mm -hmm. uh, and things like that. Those are the traditions of the South that I'm proud of, not the racial divisiveness that the Civil War stood for, Mustafa Tamiz. And it's time to take those trappings down. Yeah. Well, look, uh, these, so the intent behind putting these statues up was not a celebration. It was actually a message to celebrate the Confederacy and the slavery. It was a pushback against the North. That's why these statues were put together in the 1800s. So when people say it's part of our history, this is something that we can't forget, well, the intent behind it was sinister on putting up these statues. And now that New Orleans has 60% of the population is African American, those kids have to look at those statues statues and be reminded every day of that history and that malicious intent. So taking them down is the right thing to do. And we can take those statues and, and create a, a Civil War museum and take people and teach them about what that war was about and, and still have a, a, a monument to what that war was about. Well, that was part of what I was going to say. Uh, taking Sorry. down these statutes <laughs> uh, does not mean that we are, are, are erasing history. And I, I, I really want to emphasize that um, those statutes are not as negative as my colleague just stated because I think it's important for black people to realize where we were and how far we've come and those statutes do emphasize that. I did a history tour with my sons when they were in middle school and we have a lot of cities in Texas that have a lot of these statutes and there's an explanation as to why they're there and so we it was a learning tour tour for my sons and I said it is important as young black men that you understand where your ancestors were and how far you've come because it, it shows you why we're working so hard to continue to improve who we are. So I, I, I don't think having those statues up is promoting racial diversity or, raci or racial, divisiveness. Uh, racial divisiv divisiveness, but it does remind us where we came from and how far we've come. What about that? I mean, that, that's an interesting take from an African-American that I've, I would no, would never have seen. Well, these statues are put in front of government buildings as a reminder <laughs> that they, maybe things haven't changed all that much. Uh, we can certainly uh, study our history, we can learn from our mistakes, and part of progress is, is in, in a way looking at the things that we've done wrong and not celebrating the wrong that we did. Let me go to Sally, she's monitoring our social media. We're going to check in on Twitter, Lucindia, good morning to you, thanks for joining the conversation. She writes to me, I don't agree because they are erasing our history slowly but surely. You don't like our history and country? Please go home. Uh, Mitch Landrew, the, the mayor of New Orleans, he says we've not erased history. We're writing the wrong image these monuments represent and crafting a better future for all of our children. Jennifer Freedom says, so those who support this, what now? Did it change anything? Did it wipe these events from history? And then let's read another one here from Kathleen. She says, I love how people think they can erase history. It may be an ugly time in our country's past, but removing flags, statues, and other historical artifacts doesn't make it disappear or untrue. And then Blaze says, removing a statue of someone who supported slavery till the very end is good. Yes, it can erase history, but it can no longer be glorified. And isn't that the point? I mean, can't you, can't you just take those instead of, instead of putting them up in the way they have them in New Orleans, 
and Mustafa's right. They put them up as a reminder. This, this is what we what we put what we had them for, and make a make a and make a museum out of it. But I want to be reminded. I want my sons to be reminded <coughs> that we once people who looked like us were once slaves. I want my sons to know that's why you're working so hard. That's why you're getting a good education, and that's why your mother is an immigrant and came to this country to pursue the American dream. Just because, and and a lot of our viewers said the same thing. Just because we are taking these statues down, we have changed nothing. It is important for our children to know our history, to appreciate and, and the value of what we have right now. And when seconds. he says that it says that we haven't moved far, I definitely agree. People of color have made many positive strikes. Okay, 30 seconds. Uh, David Duke is still running for the United States Senate on the Republican banner today, this election cycle. So although we've moved very far, he led the charge with torches in his hands in front of these monuments, although we move very far, former KKK members, former KKK, KKK and we have head of the KKK, former KKK members who are right, Democrats. We That's leave, ridiculous. All right, we got to leave it right there. We'll be back in uh, in uh, about 20 minutes, mm -hmm. and you can join us right now on Facebook Live. All right, go chat with our panel right there.